My name is Jola Josie and I'm travelling around New Zealand in a house truck reconnecting to my childhood roots. While I'm doing this I'm making weekly videos and a documentary about the nomadic lifestyle so join me on this journey by watching these weekly videos. <laughs> My wife and I are building a, a tiny house. We first came up with the idea um, to build this tiny house uh, just over four months ago. And so as a project, um, it's really moved really quickly because of the team that we have on board. And so once we sort of floated the idea, it just really picked up a lot of momentum. And it turns out that there's just a lot of interest for this kind of education here in Aotearoa. And it is it's the first time that um, a workshop like this has been held in this country so the community is, is, has become really tight and you know the food is incredible and every night we have talks or uh, presentations on various things and um, there really feels like a, there's a lot of cohesion and a lot of excitement about the future and, and um, the present moment and especially with regard to people um, being able to be self-sufficient in terms of their shelter. Coming here. There's a shitload of cables. Yeah, and this afternoon we'll go through with everyone what they all are. I tend to feel stupid quite quickly and that I can ask the question 20 times and actually know that it's okay and even if I do still screw it up, I can just do it again. And it's, and it's all right because I don't know how to do it. Um, and just the aspect of, of community and that you can have a laugh while doing something and, um, and how you get to know people so quickly because you're working with them and you're living with them every day and you just have all these awesome adventures and there's like a learning curve that you have together because most of us don't really know know how to build a house. This whole idea of, of living with less is, is, is a problematic kind of way of framing um, the solution but essentially a tiny house represents a form of minimalism that would, would in, in, by its very nature reduce the amount of, of consumption that drives so much of the um, issues which threaten our species and its existence on this planet. So um, we try not to talk about living with less, but with more, um, more life stuff, uh, uh, less life, life stuff, and more lifestyle. Uh, yeah, okay, you can. You stand next to me. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. happened. This is what happens. Just curiosity. Yep, so. Yeah, this is what happens. Just curiosity. Yep, so. Did you get a track? Yeah, that door. Oh, you did. Oh. What you make another frame? Uh, the thing that I like most about workshops is just having five or six separate and different building projects happening and then making sure that everyone's engaged and then sort of standing back and just watching the flow happen and people get to know each other and it's a beautiful thing. It's sort of framed not by rush and profit but by um, enjoyment and learning and there's um, you know new connections being made and there's, there's, there's intergenerational exchange. Um, it's just a really great forum for us to acknowledge that we're essentially just all got the same needs <laughs> and um, yeah I would definitely recommend the, the workshop approach um, and I see that the result we're getting is just incredible you know a lot of people really take pride in their work when um, they're not doing it for profit. I've built around 20 tiny houses on wheels and maybe the same amount of uh, backyard offices or small cabins. Uh, the main difference being when they're on wheels, as in there's a trailer as a foundation, then we just have to take more care in detailing our tie-downs um, so that it doesn't fly off the trailer or slide off the trailer. Um, and then how we do the attachment points to the metal as, as a trailer foundation. Uh, we have to assume it's going to be travelling down the road at 100 kilometres an hour. 
we don't have to worry about that so much with backyard cabins, uh, which we build on skids. I really want to build a tiny house. Yeah, a, a mobile one. So I wouldn't want to make it as big as that one and maybe not angled walls because I don't know how to calculate that. Um, but something that I can take on the road with me um, to travel around New Zealand and to have a small space to call home and that I can tow easily. That, that would be the dream, that would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in New Zealand, there's definitely consideration that needs to be taken about the weight of the tiny houses. Uh, three and a half tons is legally the maximum. The main consideration with this, this house and building in general, in New Zealand anyway, to keep the toxicity down is uh, to use natural timbers. Um, we don't have all of these chemicals um, that are in regular pine that you'd buy at Bunnings or something like this. Um, so all, none of our timbers have chemicals in them or have, none of them have been treated. And then the other main one is uh, our insulation. And because we've got pure wool insulation, um, we're not going with a petroleum-based insulation or a fiberglass, which kind of gets in your throat and makes you feel a bit junky. So I think those, those two are the main, the main ones. Uh, and the only ones actually that we need as an ingredient for a tiny house. Yeah. From this workshop I'll be taking away a greater confidence in my own ability to create stuff with my hands, um, a sense of community and um, that there's like a web of people who are, who are doing similar things. Um, and I think also like I've gotten to know my way of learning a lot better through through this whole thing to know how my brain picks up information in these kinds of situations.